I'm speaking, my name is Howard Eagle, I'm speaking as a representative of the Community Education Task Force and as a parent of two Rochester City School District students and a recently retired uh, Rochester City School District social studies teacher, high school social studies teacher for 23 years. Uh, the Community Education Task Force is proud to be in partnership with organizations that make up the Parents and Community Coalition for Educational Change. And we are here to express our absolute lack of confidence in the leadership of Rochester City School District Superintendent Jean Claude Brazard. It is crystal clear to us that the superintendent views parents, grandparents, and other key members of the community as persons to be tolerated, as opposed to valued partners in the academic lives and development of our children. Our first indication of this reality was the fact that when Superintendent Brazard arrived in Rochester, one of his first acts was to engage in a months long process of developing a district-wide parent council, which was originally a democratically elected body of parents representing most, if not all, of Rochester's public schools. However, when the superintendent discovered that some of us who were elected to that body were not willing to just blindly rubber stamp his ideas, he chose to unilaterally disband the council with no discussion and instead formed a new group that was handpicked by building level principals. No offense then. Uh, as opposed to being chosen by parents. Indeed, his recent unsuccessful attempts to close elementary schools without any dialogue with parents, grandparents, educators, or even the Board of Education is clearly indicative of his disrespect and disregard for parents and others. We do not have confidence in the superintendent's privatization-inspired agenda and direction. In fact, it appears to us that he's more concerned about what Bill and Melinda Gates thinks, more concerned about what Eli Broad thinks, or what Mark Zuckerberg thinks, than what parents, grandparents, educators, and others think. We want to make it clear that we're not just in the business of criticizing the superintendent. Since we have no confidence in the direction in which he's attempting to take us, we have been working on a plan which we believe will help produce the kind of widespread, fundamental, sustainable, permanent change and improvement which our children and families so richly deserve. Over the past few months, we have introduced our evolving plan to numerous parents, grandparents, students, educators, and others. And we intend to lay the plan out to a very broad spectrum of community members on March 11th and March 12th, 2011, when the Parent and Community Coalition for Educational Change, along with other partners, will host a two-day community-wide education summit at which the man whom many of us hope will become the next mayor of Rochester, former Mayor William A. Johnson, Jr., and former New York State Regent and Vice Chancellor Dr. Adelaide Sanford will be featured speakers, and at which time we plan to formally launch a broad-based, ongoing, deadly serious movement for widespread, fundamental educational change and improvement. 